Sam. Hi, Mr. D. Ooh, what have you got there? It's a model dinosaur my mama gave it to me. Visible brontosaurus, huh? Yeah, it's got 412 interlocking bones. It only sounds like 411 to me. <laughs> Could you help me put it together? Oh, unfortunately, Sam, I've never been very good at that sort of thing. I once had a model airplane kit. That plane had a better chance of flying while it was still in the box. Oh, come on, Mr. D. It'll be fun. And besides, it says for ages nine and up. I can be the nine, and you can be the and up. <laughs> All right, Sam, let's give it a shot. Here's a vertebrae, okay? Only 411 pieces left to go. <laughs> Hi, Arnold. Hi. Hi, Arnold. Mr. D's gonna help me put my model together. Uh-oh. If Dad helps, don't expect it to fly. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Dave. How's the Hastings project? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's Lou Jennings, isn't it? Well, it's the third time that that's happened. We've got to let him go. Oh, I know, Dave. I like him, too. But let's face it. The man has failed. Well, look, I brought him into the company. I'll tell him myself. OK, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Mr. D, you're actually going to fire someone? I'm afraid so, Sam. It's not a pleasant thing to do, but I have no choice. I don't think it's fair to fire somebody just because they failed one subject. It's not a matter of fairness, son. What? What? Failed one subject? Oh, I mean, uh, messed up one project. The project's not the most important thing, Arnold. We put faith in this man, and he let us down. Now, if you don't take strong and immediate action when a man fails, it's a bad influence on all the others. Still, it never gets any easier having to fire somebody. You're not going to fire me if I mess up the dinosaur, are you? <laughs> Trust me, Sam, I have never yet fired anybody for messing up a dinosaur. How about for flunking geometry? Tell us again how understanding your father is. Oh, cut it out. This is serious. Where's Spider? Don't be so nervous. He'll be here. Why do you call him Spider anyway? Because his father's using cockroach. <laughs> Are you Spider? You the kid with the problem in the money? That's me. Then I'm Spider. Hi. I'm not into touching. <laughs> what are you two? You and observers? We're his friends. I'm thrilled beyond words. Are you sure you don't have something important to do? Nope, not me. Do you consider breathing important? <laughs> Let's go. So what do you need, kid? I got phony ID, birth certificate, social security cards. I even got a special this month on green cards. Hey, do I look like I need a green card? How do I know you're not covering up an accent? <laughs> so, what do you need? Well, I need a new report card. I flunk geometry. And if you can't do that, I'll settle for a passport. Flunk geometry, huh? There seems to be a lot of that going around. May I see the offending document? <laughs> Fix it, or are you gonna eat it? Big talk from a math dummy. <laughs> I was checking the paper stock in the ink. You got three options. For $20, I'll forge your father's signature. For $40, I'll get you a new report card for him to sign with the grades of your choice. And for $75, I'll get you a new report card with the grades. I'll change them, and then I'll change them back again before you hand it in. I can't believe I'm getting involved with an insect. A spider is not an insect. It is an arachnid. One more remark like that, and I'll change your biology grade to an F. So what'll it be? My dad's pretty preoccupied with work these days, so maybe he won't notice if I didn't give it to him. Do you think he could sign his name so no one'll know? Are you kidding? I can copy the signature in the dark. It's Diamond, right? Drummond. <laughs> Just kidding. 